Every single person that walks past me just stares at me. They don't say hi, they don't say what's up. It's just like rich white people town, it's so funny. You think these places are like the safest places in America, but really like they're the sketchiest places because everyone keeps themselves, they don't talk to each other. How's the sesh? Good? Right on, have a good day, man. Yeah, pretty cool Jersey barrier. The independent guys built this recently. I guess it got destroyed in the middle of the night, came back, fixed it up. So yeah, super hyped to start today off here at this spot. I recently got hurt from skating. I've had a broken thumb for like almost a month now. I slammed on my ass recently. I just had a bunch of injuries. I've taken like a week off, but in this video, I wanna get back into the groove skating today. We're gonna hit a couple DIY spots with my homie Lucas and just jump into like recovering from skateboarding. I'll give some of the tips, some of the things that I do to recover from skateboarding and get back into that groove and, and when to start skating because I think that's a really hard thing for us skaters to know what to do. One thing that really sucks right now is my thumb. Like that is the most that I can bend it. Look at my other thumb. I could, you know, any normal funk, I got a good hitchhiker thumb so that's the one thing I got to do today try to avoid catching myself often what I do is like brace myself from falling down but yeah that's not gonna be very good so I got to try to avoid landing on my hand almost like go to the shoulder or something if I you know tend to brace myself or I need to brace myself I'm gonna try to do something else rather than putting my hand down hopefully <laughs> And choosing your battles is an important thing right now especially when like coming back from an injury i'm like so excited to skate but i gotta like realize when to stop so i really want to do this front tail it's just not working so i'm gonna give it a couple more and then if it works cool if it doesn't all good move on One thing that you can do is skate with the homies. That kind of gets you going. Lucas just got that board side fakie. It's kind of like motivation for me to get the front tail. I tried to skate the other day by myself after not skating for like a week, well, plus a week actually, much longer, probably like eight, nine days, tried skating by myself. It just wasn't fun. So I think skating with the homies is a good way to like break in your skate legs again. Did I send you this spot, Dowdy? Oh my goodness. Dang it, dude. What a spot though. I know, dude, look, it's so fucking beautiful. It's like the Jurassic World spot again. Yeah. This is the uh, the Hobbit spot. Look at this thing. It's like almost a perfectly made half pipe underneath this ditch area and then they got the metal grate. Unfortunately, it's full of uh, water right now. Homie's up here trying to clean it up. Before we hit this next spot, I like to thank HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. HelloFresh is perfect for skaters like me that want to eat healthy. HelloFresh provides simple step-by-step -step recipes that are super easy to follow and pre-portioned ingredients help cut down the prep time. I like it because I can cook dinner for my wife and I while still having leftovers the next couple days while I'm out skating. Use my link or go to HelloFresh.com and use code POGHF94999 for 70% off plus free shipping on your first box. Once you click, my description will live update to count the purchase. It doesn't feel that bad actually. Okay. But I only like. Going I wasn't really like pushing. 
This is one of the spots where you need to churn. Like you kind of have to carve into it to get the- Yeah, you gotta be able to push. Yeah, get the momentum and the, the confidence boost to like go up for one. Going fakey is like more intimidating. Yeah, so it's super scary skating this thing. Black stuff, super slippery. I think like the issue is like, probably like all the water accumulates right here. It's so, like a drainage ditch essentially, but it is the perfect spot. Unfortunately, it stays kind of wet. I have to come down here with like a blow torch or something, but it is good just to mix up your environment and not go to the skate park when you're recovering from an injury. I've done that before and you get hurt right away. It's kind of good just like, going to spots and sort of tinkering with them. You don't have to like worry about landing a trick or even doing some tricks, just checking out, it's kind of nice. It's a, it's a fresher way to get back into the skating versus just throwing yourself right into the fire. Thanks to the homie hype. Spot did dry up though. I think like skating it kept it dry, t-shirt hitting it. And then Dave was actually hitting it with a blower too. So I think like hitting it with the blower and adding that extra wind dried it up pretty quick. Such a cool spot, I had so much fun there. I've been wanting to hit that thing for a while. So stoked I got some tricks on that thing. I didn't think we were gonna be able to skate it for a second, but luckily Lucas put in the work and dried it all up. And I think those things kind of motivate you to skate. So like if you're coming back from injury like I am, it's kind of like scary to get back in the groove. So shout out to the homies for just like getting it going and sparking it up essentially. We had to make a quick pit stop at the local donut shop that we heard a lot of good things about. Now we're gonna go to one more spot. Got one more spot on the list and then we're gonna wrap it up today. I'll kind of summarize this video with some things from today's session about just getting back into the groove on your skateboard. How's your grip tape look after that spot? So bad, look at it. <laughs> Yours is yeah. the worst. Did it push us? Just slip into that bush like that. That was real, huh? Now he's just gonna slip into the bush like that too. Bye bye. Skateboarding man. Only skateboarders would you be 35 years old climbing through a bush. Oh, did you guys see that spider? Did you see the spider? The Dude, this thing is huge. I don't know what it oh, is. Oh no, I didn't even see that. So big? The brown recluse said that. Looks like they did a nice cove mortar on the bottom, really fix this ditch up. Pretty sick. Yeah. Start up there, make way down. It's just like a like a rolled lacquer. So you can get like the grip gum, kind of like the mob grip, the expensive stuff. I got this from Lowe's, it was like eight bucks. It's a sand belt cleaner. It's like a gator skins thing. So yeah, if you clean up my grip tape. Now that we're out of that super crusty spot, and we're in another crusty spot, of course.
Yep. So there we go. My wheel just fell off again. Bearing came off the whole the whole thing. I thought my issues with these aces was solved by taking the washers out. I'm gonna take all the washers out. I had one in, so I'm gonna take all of them out. I'm hoping my wheel stops falling off because this is ridiculous. I mean, it fell off like in an area that luckily I wasn't committing, but man, it's really scary when your wheel keeps falling off. I want to like these Ace AF1 hollows, but I like them, but just don't like that the wheels fall off. So after quite a long day of skating and my wheels falling off and just getting really tighter, and this is the first session back. I normally try to skate at three or four times throughout the week. So right now I'm actually gonna go into load and get some updated hardware. As you've seen, my uh, nuts keep falling off. See if I can uh, get some nuts out, keep my wheels on these trucks. I've had people telling me that they haven't had any issues with their AF1 hollows. They're, they're bigger AF1 hollows like these. So it might just be a fluke. I'm not saying that all these trucks do this. I've never had this issue, it's just this pair. So I think it's a fluke. Also my rails are super loose. I thought you could put these rails on without worrying about um, screwing them in. Like normally I screw them in, but this time I drilled them in thinking that they'd be fine, but they're not, they're coming off. So my board's just falling apart. It's looking very rookie right now. <laughs> Also grab some Gorilla Glue to hopefully keep our rails on because that's the one thing that I think really helps keep your rails on is when you add a little bit of glue to the screws or just underneath and then pre-drill everything in which I'm going to do right now and then tighten everything by hand. That's where this went bad. I, I actually added all these rails just by a normal drill and I just drilled everything straight in. I think that's where everything went south. So using glue and hand drilling it in, make sure that the nut actually gets in there. That's something I used to always do, but for some reason with these rails, I feel I didn't have to do it. So point in case is that I was wrong. So I'm gonna take these rails off, make sure to add some of our Gorilla Glue, get them back on there, as well as use these nuts. So hopefully these nuts will keep all my wheels on. Stay tuned for that. I'll give you an update in the next video if they're doing good, if they're not doing good. One thing I did wanna dive into kind of conclude this video is just that like we often have to constantly skate to keep up with our progress and you're never going to progress unless you constantly keep going and when you can't skate and you're injured like I was for a little bit it's really hard it's mentally taxing and physically taxing and I think the best thing you can do is just get yourself out there even if you can't skate like if you can just walk around going to the skate shop for example is good like just talking to people at the skate shop and just kind of getting acclimated and being around skateboarding is good. Sometimes skateboarding doesn't involve skateboarding itself. You can go out, film your homies, and just get more into that groove. So hopefully some of that is uh, some practical tips. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, checking out all the spots I'm gonna fix on my skateboard. And hopefully by the next video, it won't be so clonky. Hit that like button. And uh, if you wanna join channel members, I am working on my backyard. All the process kind of into my DIY backyard build will be onto the channel members. It's only $4.99 a month.